in the MTN ODI series, South Africa versus New Zealand. Welcome to the toss here at Sahara Stadium, Kingsmead, for the first MTN ODI match, the first in a three-match series between South Africa and New Zealand. With me is Javi Gal Srinath, the match referee, Daniel Vittori and Graham Smith. Graham will toss the coin. Head, heads is the call. Tails it is. Yeah, we're going to bowl first. Um, easy decision? Um, a little bit of moisture overnight. There's quite a lot of rain that fell, and uh, compared to yesterday, it's a little bit softer. So we think they might have something in this morning. We want to take advantage of that. Yeah, so South Africa's team at the top there. You see Mourne van Veek comes in. It's six matches for him, and he comes in back at the top. He replaced Graham Smith on the tour of Ireland in June and did quite well against India and also Ireland. The rest of the team, Graham Smith spoke about the team that did battle in Pakistan. It's pretty much exactly the same. So you got the seamers there, don't have a problem with that. And um, Scotty Styrus to fiddle a bit. And uh, Brendan McCullum going to go up front again and uh, give the ball a bit of a lick. Same old thing, Lou Vincent, very talented player. 98 matches. And a strike rate of uh, 69. Best of 172, certainly is a very good ball striker. Got a lot of time. One of those players that just looks like he's got so much time. If you stray offline, he will, uh, he'll pay for it. Sean Pollock, back in uh, the South African side. And, uh, oh, look at that record. Not far away from the Magic 400, doing the double 400 test wickets and... Uh, not far away from uh, the 400 ODI's wickets. Big shot. Has it gone all the way? Yes, it has. Too short for Mantini. Vincent was hovering on that back foot. And the first stroke of real conviction from the Black Caps. Well, South Africa will very, uh, very much uh, realize that they can't bowl too short on this pitch because that's where you're going to pay. It's too slow. The length that Pollock is bowling, that's about the length, that fuller length where it's going to do something off the seam. Well, the batters are not quite sure whether to come forward. And I think the message has been given to uh, Ntini. That's solid in the middle of the bat. He knew it all the way. That's gone all the way. Got him! The fuller length. Good response from Ntini. The stroke was an ill-advised one from Vincent, and he's had his castle disturbed. The Kiwis are 12 for one. Not a great shot from Lou Vincent, really. It's up there, and it's just uh, passed through the gate with the angle. It's a shocker of a shot. He knows it too. Not the start that New Zealand wanted. Lou Vincent, well, again, disappointing six. It's uh, 12 for one. Clipped away beautifully through square leg for four. Despite the fact it's a heavy outfield, you'll still get value for shot. Straying onto the pads. McCullum not missing out. Nicely played. It was just a fraction short and Brendan McCullum was straight onto it. Manages to beat the short fine leg and also the man out on the boundary, so gets four more. Beautiful shot once again. Erd short and tried to correct and overcorrected Albie Morkel. And Jamie Howe just tucks in a really, really good shot down the ground for four. Oh, Got yes, him! Man. Played right around it. Yorked and the Hanbota has broken the stand. McCullum goes and that is a key wicket for South Africa. And this is how it happened. Absolutely. He sat back in the crease and almost yorked himself. Brennan McCullum trying to invent something else through the leg side and he's uh, been knocked over by the Austin Aborta and uh, he's gone for 40 it's 84 for two Scott Starris the new man and a hugely experienced member of this Black Caps lineup beautiful shot it was short and he was on to it in a flash. Jamie Howe looks very proficient at playing the... 
cross back shots off the back foot four more that is a that's up in the air it's high up in the air and it's caught a little bit shaky at the end but it's sort of hung up there for a while and those sort of catches when you've got too much time to think about them can easily be spilt well caught and uh, an important wicket to the home team it's a good change of pace by uh, under nil there as well scotty star is going for the big one trying to hit that over mid wicket he played well scott Starris. got his 40 runs or 45 deliveries job worth a completing a good catch and a valuable wicket for south africa at a good time 159 for three a fair newcomer ross taylor who um, made a bit of a name for himself in limited overs cricket oh catch it takes Oh, it's beaten Cutlass out in the boundary. And there's the four that Kepler Vessels was talking about. Perfect for New Zealand. 179 for three. It's a good shot. Risk element attached to it. There are three fielders on the leg side boundary there, but Ross Taylor struck it very well. Jacques Cutlass trying to get across, but could only get that right hand to the ball. This might be caught. It is. And he's, has he thrown it? But if he's got that back into play, that's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. There'll be an inquiry. But he's caught it. And if he's managed to release it before hitting the rope, it will be a fantastic bit of fielding. I think he's just a fraction too late. Ross Taylor hit that, this quite well, perhaps not as well as he would have liked, but he got enough bat on it. Jacques Cullis trying to present, prevent the six, but it looks to me like his foot just touched the boundary. Up in the air, man under it, should be out, is. Ross Taylor going for the big shot, and he had to. Didn't get hold of it on this occasion. But he's 20 off uh, as many deliveries. Shorter delivery. Caps advancing down the wicket. Had a big swing at it, but Andre Nell has got a safe pair of hands. He's at a deep mid wicket position. And that's the end of Ross Taylor. Four wickets are down now, 195 for four. Tamius wicket for South Africa. He's either going to post a handy score here. Big hit, beautifully placed, one bounce for four. It was right in the slot from Antini, and how has it away to the fence? Oh, that is outstanding, has to be said, because when you're in this sort of nick now, because you've been there for such a long time, watch the wrists, right there, just turned them beautifully, knew where he wanted to put it, because mid on's back, and he wanted to pierce it between the two men, and did it comfortably. denied that maiden ODI 100 and New Zealand lose their fifth wicket it's 223 for five well the answer is he can't because this is superb wide on the crease got that little inside edge just mentioned a couple of a couple of deliveries before and isn't he pumped he's loving this the big fella right on the spot Yorkers help from the batsman a little bit he's gone for 90 Jamie Howe New Zealand 223 for five missed out on Friday evening in the Pro 20 game Gareth Hopkins tamely steering to backward point on that occasion but yeah he has come out with license wickets in hand 15 balls remaining in the innings and New Zealand searching desperately to try and get past the 250 mark Nell has bowled a very good over though two Yorkers in it already and the last one claiming the valuable wicket of Jamie Howe. Here he goes again, this time to Hopkins. Got him! Straight away, it nipped back and trims the top of leg stump. Now will be on a hat-trick. Hopkins goes first ball, 2.23 to 6. Oh, it's the big fella. They can't stop him. How do you? 
That is just a super piece of bowling that's nipped back. Hopkins may be looking for the Yorker, but it's back end of a length. Oh, thanks for coming. Back to the hut for an early shower before the tea break. Oh, he's loving it. Why wouldn't you? First ball is on a hat trick. Hopkins for Nort. 2-2-3 two, two, for six here. Useful lower order striker, but a different responsibility. First up to deny the hat trick, but then to keep New Zealand going towards something respectable. So here it is, the hat trick ball for Andre Nell. Goes to Carl Mills. Carl oh, Nell is denied. Hits the stumps, trying for the run out. Down the ground again, way over the top of Longhoff, and again it goes. Oh, this time it goes all the way. The extra ball of the over goes for the maximum. That's a huge over for New Zealand. 15 from it. 240 for six with an over remaining. Last one from now. Everybody in the inner circle right on the edge of the ring. They're just trying to prevent it going to the fence. Last ball of the innings. Beautifully bowled again by Nell. Pollock coming round, picks up a third man. Are they coming back? No, they won't. So just the one. Super over from Nell again. Just eight from it. And New Zealand, at the conclusion of their 50 overs, have posted a creditable 248 for six. That score would never be achieved when we began here at 10 o'clock this morning. It was grey overhead, there was moisture in the pitch, Pollock bowled superbly, they lost Vincent early, but that McCullum House stand was so important, just giving a platform that New Zealand haven't had throughout the summer. Now the bowling, a little bit of a mixed bag, but hey, it's a class act, isn't it? Sean Pollock, four maidens there, 10 overs, none for 21, great job. And Nantini went for a little at the end, but uh, now class two, three for 46, bowled beautifully at the death. Morkel had better days. Bortha done a good job, really. Got a wicket, got an important wicket, and Doomy just filled in with a couple. 50 50 call at this stage, one would fancy. In a normal ODI on a good pitch, 250 may not be enough in the modern era. But today you sense that New Zealand have given themselves a very real chance. Hasn't played much international cricket. There's his career, his sixth match today, but a useful average. What a start for New Zealand and Carl Mills. Van Vake is slow in coming forward and has his off stump knocked out of the ground. It's not for one. Beauty from Mills, right on target. Van Vake would have seen the ball shaping away towards the slip cordon. And the feeling with this one is it's just held its line and perhaps just nipped back a little bit from Mills. There, yeah, just held its line and he just played down the wrong line. Van Vyck, and he has to go. He's gone for a nah, gone for a duck. None for one. This man is a legend in South African cricket. Driven and through. Not sweetly timed, but it may have enough to go to the fence and does. It'll lift Smith's and South Africa spirits. Edge and gone. Callis is gone. What a wicket that is for Mills. And a huge one for New Zealand. Squared him up, lifted, found the edge. Cullis goes. South Africa nine for two. Kyle Mills, you champion. He's got this. Look at the seam position. Squares him up, opens up like a can opener. And a comfortable catch to Ross Taylor, who says thanks very much. Callis, he's out of here for just a single. South Africa are nine for two now. Number four, A.B. de Villiers opened on many occasions in his career and this is pretty much like it out after five overs are gone his captain still at the crease it's a remarkable shot from A.B. de Villiers a remarkable shot that's that's just quick hands good hand-eye coordination and just a whole bundle of just being a brilliant little sportsman nice shot it's his area Graham Smith and he manages to get into the boundary as well. So a very welcome boundary for the South Africans and for Graham Smith as well. Yes! Good shot from Smith. Made a little bit of room. Was always going to hit it in the air. He only just cleared the fielder, but he hit it very hard indeed. Good cricket. 23. 
Martin already played 57 matches. Great strike rate. That's short, and is it out? It is taken, is it, or is he touching the rope? I reckon they'll go upstairs. Smith doesn't mind, he's walking. That is Chris Martin on the boundary. Smith is walking off. I reckon he got close to the rope, though. Chris Martin, like to have another look at this. Rank long hop. Smith hit it well. Didn't get much elevation on it, but he hit it pretty well. Smith is hanging around because umpire Benson has said, I just want to have a look to make sure that no part of Chris Martin's foot touched the rope. That's not going to tell us. Need another angle. See how far in he is. Looks terribly close to the rope. But where he picks the foot up from there doesn't look as if he was that close. But has that rope moved? Well, Jack, as you've got a rope, and then you've got this, this, the padded advertising. That's what I'm saying. Has that padded advertising moved? Does it move there? See that back leg? Yeah, so I reckon he just scraped it. Just, yeah, that back leg, is it his, his left leg? Yeah. Big decision. If he goes, he's and he's given it. He has to go. Bang on 100. Smith has gone for 44. South Africa, 100 for three. Quick single. Oh, that could be close. It was a little backhanded flick. And De Villiers, I think, always thought he was comfortable. And let's have a look if this was uh, De Villiers in trouble. Quick call straight away. Good backhand, little flick, and he's well in. They're very quick, these two, between wickets. Not easy to affect the run out, but it was a very good piece of fielding by Lou Vincent. Saw one of those from him on Friday night that uh, resulted in overthrows. On this occasion, dead eye dick. Excellent piece of work, but De Villiers is home. <laughs> Big appeal, but I fancy he's got a little bit of back on that. Made it very fine, and it's gone away for four indeed. Just the merest of brushes as it passed on its way down the leg side. Vittori thought he had his man, but Dumini proved better. What a catch! What a catch! He tossed it up. De Villiers tried to hit it inside out and got the inside half of the bat. And Victoria stuck up a right hand and taken a crucial catch. Well, two things are important here. The first one is that Daniel Victoria took pace with the ball, something that I've been thinking he should have done more often today. And he did that on that occasion. The second one, it was a very good one-handed catch. Very good innings by Abby de Villiers. He's gone for 87, 172 for four. Mark Boucher is the new man, hugely experienced, over 4,000 runs and a useful average position he bats in the order. Star is changing the pace all the time. Smash over the top. That's going to go for six. Just when the pressure button's been pushed, been relieved by a fantastic shot. That is such a huge shot in the context of this game. Five balls, only two off it, needing eight and a bit. And the last one, the last one goes for six, and there's an extra one to come. One, two, three, four, five, six, because of the wide. Oh my goodness me, what a big blow this is from this young man. Beautiful shot. Short ball, it's pulled in the air, and this will be out, yes! Vital wicket for New Zealand, just when they needed it. Martin comes to the party, and Dumini's on his way. Forty-six he got, just bounced on him, on him a little bit, hit high up on the bat near the splice. Doesn't really go anywhere. Two people were looking to catch it, but uh, one man only had to take a few steps in. Too many goes. 46. South Africa 211 for five. There he goes down the ground. Is there a man under it? Yes, there is. And he takes the catch. 
There's a big sigh in this ground. It's actually gone almost like an Indian cricket ground when an Indian player gets out. It's gone totally silent. You can almost hear a pin drop. Well, he wanted to go straight, didn't get enough of it. And uh, a good catch in the deep. Might have had a little uh, look there, the ball. Well, now then, the dressing room all of a sudden goes silent. Sean Pollock, the homeboy's out for six. It's 2.20 for six. Quite a young career, this lad, just 18 matches. Strike rate's important to look at there. 88, or virtually 89. Oh, what a catch that is. Unbelievable wow. catch from McCullum. What a wicket. Remarkable catch. Remarkable catch. That has gone down from the bat. It's like a bottom edge almost. Fantastic reactions from a good athlete. And look at the score. The dreaded double Nelson. I'll be more called out for naught. It's very quiet here at Kingsmead. Boucher still on strike, which is the important thing. Well, it's gone silent again. Straight to the man at long on. Mills gets another big wicket. He's hit back for four. Are we going to have a new hero? here at the Sahara Stadium. Got to say, it, I can't believe that they had that man up in the ring. You're going to bowl Yorkers. That should have been... Well, he was never going to... Never going to uh, go straight to the man on a deep long off. But uh, still, he probably had a chance of stopping it. He's hit that again. cannot lose this game but have we got another tire on our hands oh there's going to be some thinking now anxious seconds ticking by here we go will it get over cover yes it will South Africa win Andre Nell is the hero it went to the wire The Sahara Stadium has come to life. There have been some tense, tense moments. The New Zealanders are gutted. Vittore is walking towards the pavilion. A very disappointed man. Others are beginning to shake hands now with the, the two South Africans and the umpires. But spare a thought, everybody, for the vanquished. It's a tough game, this... Absolutely disgusted is the uh, New Zealand dressing room. They've really fought hard here today. It hasn't been a great performance from South Africa, especially with the ball, but they pulled it through. And that says a lot for their character to win games from uh, these positions. Andre, now he is going to tell me now, is he genuine article? Stop it. the young bowler Gillespie it's really tough out there in this cauldron when it just goes wrong especially when a number 10 walks in and smears you through extra cover twice before all you've done is try to do the right thing